Hey everybody, it's Strict9 with Strict9GP, and I'm back with another episode of my Draft Day Sports College Basketball 2020 playthrough. So playing as the Austin Peay Governors in the Ohio Valley Conference, and we are in the tournament, the Ohio Valley Conference tournament, I should say. So OVC tournament, uh, we're going to have our first game in the tournament tonight. We had a, a, buy, a, a buy game, however you say it, uh, since we finished second in the conference. If you look at who we're playing, it's going to be Moorhead State. And I was feeling pretty good about that until it just dawned on me. They're the team that beat us um, on the road right before that big Belmont win. So Moorhead State might be the team I don't want to play. Um, Belmont, they're going to go, go against Tennessee State. If I look at the the scouting report here, uh, it's pretty balanced, except for center. So that being the case, you know they get, they're going the freshman center, who's a little bit bigger than our guy Marty Anderson. But I may at least try for a balanced um, game starting out. I might try inside. Try might try to favor inside as we get further along if we're not doing too well. But um, looking at the scores that got them here and us here um they beat <clears throat> a tough team in southeast missouri state so i don't think it's a gimme right now as much as i was uh pretty feeling pretty good about this game now i'm not so sure all right so now <clears throat> let's go ahead though and uh we'll, we'll get get it started i wouldn't mind playing a couple games um tonight in this episode if we're able to to beat Morehead State, so I need I need to calm down. I need to count my uh, or just you know not get ahead of myself. But here we go. Tip off. So I, I am I'm gonna go balanced off the gate. I'm gonna leave everything the way it is set to default until I know how well we're gonna look. And uh, this is Music City, so this is probably Nashville. Yep, Nashville, where the tournament's going on. And they score first. It's 2 nothing, and we turn it over. Oh, and they score twice. We're up 4 nothing, 6 nothing, And we finally score, uh, but get our second team foul on the other end. So they definitely started out uh, pretty hot, but we need score here to uh, travel, turn over. Three turnovers already in this game. I'm going to slow the pace down a little bit. It's a 6-2 game. Anderson misses the shot, but <clears throat> draws a foul. And he makes them both. We need a <clears throat> excuse me. We need a free throw shooting performance like we had against Belmont, I'm thinking. Oh, big basket there outside. It's uh It's eight to four. Let me let me go inside for just a little bit. Just favor inside. Anderson misses the free throw, but he's already drawn a couple fouls. Three team fouls for them, two for us, and, well, three for us now. And big move inside gives them a five-point lead. Oh, a big three-pointer there from Grower. But Marty Anderson, second foul on the other end. It's a two-point game. We need a turnover here, but we can't get it. It's 12-8. <clears throat> Give the ball back to him. And out of bounds, Moorhead State ball. Oh, he threw it away, he looks like, or threw it to our guy, but we can't do anything with it. It's 12-8, out of bounds to us. We're having a hard time uh, connecting with any shots right now. Big three-pointer from them. It's 15-8, we come back and score. They score. They are 8 for 13 in field goals, up by 5. Up by eight, big three pointer, and we we match him with the three pointer on the other end, and out of bounds to Austin P. I uh, don't know when I start panicking. Plenty of time here, twelve minutes, twelve and a half minutes. Oh. Come on, guys, I'm gonna go for those. Uh, I'm gonna crash the boards on offense a little bit. I'll probably keep it where it is on defense, though. 
Oh, big three-pointer. We're back within two. And pass deflected out of bounds. And they score. They're playing really, really good right now. And pass deflected out of bounds. Thought for a minute there we threw it away. Free throw shooting is, or field goal shooting is good on both sides. And we throw it away. Had a chance to tie it. Oh, but we did on that one. It's a 22-22 game. I'm still going heavy inside or favoring inside. It, it seems to be working. We're finally get a lead, but they come back and tie it really quick. They missed the three-pointer, and Holland misses the shot but draws the foul. Let's hope he converts here. Makes the first one. Makes them both. We're up by two. And Holland called for the foul on the other end. That's our fifth team foul. I'm not sure. Oh, the big three-pointer gives them a lead. But we come right back with a pretty good inside shot. Oh, Jepson misses the shot, draws the foul. But unfortunately, Jepson, he's really struggling too. He's over three from the field, but he is not a good field goal, free throw shooter. He misses the first one. Misses them both, but we get the rebound. Luckily, Holland was able to put it back up. Our, now we're up by five. We're getting some distance. And got the ball back. Pass kicked by the defense. Ah, couldn't convert there. That would have been a huge basket. They missed a three-pointer. Out of bounds to Moorhead State. Still five-point game. I think we've had some chances here, though, to really – increase that lead so they're staying in the game uh, foul on them though they're 16 foul and turnover from them still we're just up by three points what a close game we throw we turn it over six turnovers for us in this game four for them and, and we're just up by one now three they missed the shot we're doing a pretty good job on rebounds right now, 11 to 8. But we're getting a little bit cold on shooting. Uh, luckily, they turned it over. And a foul, they're third on Victor, so that's going to send us to the line now. Who is this? Anderson. He can be hit or miss. Uh, he hits them both, though. So we're 7 for 10 in free throws. I'll take that right now. <clears throat> All right, we need, to, we need to score here, and we can't do it. Still a five-point game, now three-point game. Ah, good rebound, but he can't put the shot up, or can't make it fall. Uh, and they're up, they're down. Oh, my gosh. They're going to take the lead, so that's how quick it went. They're up by two. Uh, we tie it. And Dahl misses if it draws a foul, and, and that was our seventh, so he makes them both. So it looks like we're probably going to go down. Uh, down by two after this first half. Uh, so points in the paint. They're, they're getting more points in the paint. Uh despite us kind of focused inside. So shooting, we got Anderson, uh, five or six in free throws, but he's not the leading scorer I thought he was. Holland off the bench is the leading scorer. Man, this is looking pretty scary. We're actually out shooting them. Um, so I'm not sure. It, it, well, percentage-wise, they have three more buckets than we do. They're they're getting way more shots. I think I'm going to um, favor outside to start, and let's see what that does. Let's see if we can get hot early and uh, get the lead back. But already, they're going to score first. They convert on two free throws. Holland on the other end misses the shot, misses the free throw, makes the second one. It's a three-point game. Yeah, I'm, I'm hesitant to go outside because we are so cold uh, outside. Rushing, draws the foul, is going to go to the line, misses, makes one of two.
and we are struggling big time right now. 14 for 31 in field goals. I don't think – have we made a field goal this half? We draw, draw the foul, um, but we miss – we missed one or two, so we're 10 of 16 for free throws. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to go back inside. Or let me try balance for a while. I uh, We are stinking it up shooting right now. It's a three-point game from them. Uh, if we get a foul on them, that's their fourth team foul. Unfortunately, our free throw shooting is so bad, I can't depend on us winning it at the line. Um, so it's not much of a strategy, really, to, to try and draw – a bunch of fouls, and there's a big three-pointer there to tie it up. On uh, slam dunk, gives us a, a lead, our first lead of the second half. But Grower called for his third foul. That could be huge. And three-point play for them. They're up by one. And Samuel Davis, that's going to be his fourth foul. That's going to put him in trouble. Still just 14 and a half minutes left. Plenty of time. Good shot inside from Anderson. Ah, oh, but a big three-pointer from them. They're four for ten in three-pointers. We answer at the other other end, but uh, oh, we throw it away. They're shooting a little bit better than we are right now. Even though percentage-wise, maybe not, but uh, they're making more shots, getting more attempts. A lot of back and forth here right now. We're up by one, but it's going to be a foul. Our fourth team foul now. We're getting close to them and fouls at a turnover. We need to convert here. And uh, Grower misses a shot but draws the foul. He makes them both. So we're up by three. Not a lot of breathing room, though, the way this game is going. They missed the shot. We get the rebound. Anderson, a good basket inside. Oh, we're back. We're up by seven. That may be our biggest lead of the game. So some quick baskets there, but we got Ben Martin in his second foul. Martin has been really, really quiet this game. I don't know if they're double teaming him. I don't know what's going on. He, he is our leading scorer coming into the, the game for the season, 14 plus points a game. He has zero in this one. And they score. It's a five point game. Now we miss from outside. And then we throw it away. That was Ben Martin throwing it away. He, he has not had a good game. If we're able to win with the kind of game that he's having, that might be a good sign. Uh, but now the turnovers are, are kind of getting crazy. Anderson, a big basket inside. We're up by seven again. And a foul. And he converts. It's a four-point game. Just under eight minutes left. Greg Edwards called for the charge, his third foul. Luckily, they can't score on the other end. But we're, we're cold still. Uh, well, we're, after a really hot run, we're getting cold again. Good move inside, though, from Jepson. Big three-pointer for them, though. It's a three-point game. Ah, I just, this is maddening. <laughs> it's a one-point game. And Mark Cunningham called for a foul. Uh, we're going to call timeout pretty soon. Uh, we're going to be down by one if he converts. He does. Oh, my gosh. So I don't know if I can really uh, – let me let me see what's going on with Martin and see if I can motivate him. Nice, chew me out. Great. All right, well, so much for that. And we turn it over, and they're up by three. And we just cannot get anything to hit right now. After going, well, except for that three-pointer, after having that big run, we went cold. A lot of back and forth right here. French misses the shot but draws the foul. And he hits them both. It's a tie game. 345 left and we turn it over and it looks like the speed has gone wait let me let me pause this the speed seems like it uh, got really fast there and we missed the shot and luckily they they threw it away on the other end 
tied, we're down by two. And Victor called for the foul. Anderson, he makes the first one, makes the second one. It's a tie game. 72-72, we need a turnover here or something. And nothing happening. He was owned inside there on that move. We tie, uh, tie it up with a basket from Martin. His first two points of the game. And now French travels, turns it over. Three-pointer we miss. Grower the rebound. Rushing puts it up. We're up by two. And they hit the three-pointer to take a lead. Oh, a three-pointer there from Jepson. Gives us a two-point lead. What should I do here? Um, I think I'm going to try to motivate the team. I'm going to give them some praise since the last uh, thing didn't work. They're not responding. Oh, there's no set play here since we're on defense. Gosh, I, I, I want to go full court. And let's see... Is that the right thing to do here? Let me try it. I'll back it down just a little bit. Pass deflected out of bounds. And Anderson called for the foul. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Luckily, he misses that. I'm gonna go for stall offense, and it's right away Victor is gonna foul. And looks like he's probably going to foul Anderson. Is that who's going to the line? He is. Anderson's had a great game. 16 points for him. He's 4 for 7. Phil goes. Uh, so what does that put him from the line? Not even sure. He misses the second one. It's a three-point game, and now they call a timeout. So I'm, I'm not going to go full court. I'm going to back up the intensity a little bit. I don't want to foul here. They missed a three-pointer, and that's how it's going to end. Holy cow. 80 to 77. Um, I can't believe we pulled that one out. Moorhead State, you got to give them credit. They really came here for the upset on that on, on this one. Uh, led at halftime. Honestly, you take away the couple of two big runs that we had, and this game easily goes to them. Uh, I, I'm... I think that big run in the second half when we maybe scored like eight points in a row or something probably did it for us, and then the rest was just holding on. But what a what a game. <laughs> that was too close for, for comfort. Uh, Mike Holland off the bench is going to get the player of the game. Uh, he, he did play really well. 19 minutes, 15 points, six rebounds. Um, Martin... He had a lot of rebounds, 12 rebounds, but just two points. That's incredible. Luckily, we won, and maybe it's a good thing that we won. You know, He played 33 minutes. Um, I don't know if I've seen him score that low in a game, so it could be that they were double-teaming him. Uh, but if that was the case, luckily uh, we had some good bench play here, and Anderson Grower even had a good point, a good game. That no assists from Grower. Whew. That's crazy. Uh, but I, I'm liking the bench play here from Holland and Edwards. I mean, that saved us in this game. You look at how we shot. We outshot them, but they got way more attempts than, well, six more attempts than we did. They were six for 18 from free th uh, three point. We were seven for 14, so that was pretty good. And then once again, free throws. Struggled in that 15 for 22. Uh, we out rebounded them though pretty heavy 37 26. Um, they had 10 steals to our seven turnovers 13 to eight, so we won that battle. We only had eight to their 13, so that's good. But man, that was a qu close game. And looks like Belmont they easily beat Tennessee State 80 to 69. So now. That's where it goes. I mean, it's going to be uh, Belmont against us, and Belmont heavily favored, heavily favored uh, by our scout. But I know what I'm going to do, 
And and just to give you an idea of how bad a game that was, Martin, um, so bad that he it dropped his scoring uh, points per game average below 14. That's crazy. So what we're going to do now is just go straight into this game. And I'm going to do what I did to beat them last time. It's... Uh, Not you know not too crazy, but I'm just gonna try and stick. Instead of switching defenses here, I'm gonna stick to a one-two-two zone. I'm gonna focus favor on outside. Keep the pace a little slow, um, and then just leave it at that. And let's see how how we do. And they're gonna go to the line first. So it looks like they're going to score first, two for two. Belmont does all the right things, too. I mean, their free throw shooting is good. They're, they're uh, you know, it looks like they're a really disciplined team. They're already up 4 nothing on us. Our first points are going to come at the free throw line, though. Jepson makes them both. Uh, and now we tie it up on a pretty good play on the other side. There's so much riding on this. I'm probably not as excited as I need to be. We're up six to four. I mean, we would go to the tur NCAA tournament if we win this one. We're not. We don't have a shot if we don't. And they're they're passing a shot clock violation. I think that zone one two two zone is maybe confusing them a little bit. We're up eight to four. Ah, but Anderson called for a foul. Uh, just their second team foul. His second foul, though. Anderson in trouble. If they start hitting the threes, we're going to be in trouble. But, man, we get the ball back again, and we, we convert. It's a 10-4 game. And we get the ball back, convert again. It's 12-4. And they're having a hard time getting their shots to land. They're one for six. Throws it away, Ron Dearborn, their best player. So we're up 12 to 4, shooting 5 of 9 from the field. Oh, and a big three pointer. We're up 11 points. The missed shot, but gets the rebound. Uh, misses again, but is that a foul? No, nope, timeout. So it's a 15 to 4 game. Whew. I did not see that. They missed the three, get the rebound, make the two, but we come right back. It's 17 to six. There's the three pointer. Their first three pointer of the game. If they start hitting those, we're doomed. Oh, good play there. Cunningham misses the shot, but draws the foul. So he goes to the line, but misses the first one, makes the second one. We're up by nine. Oh, and they hit another three. They're two for four and three pointers. Good play, though, from Jepson inside. Or, sorry, Edwards. And they throw it away on the other end. So we could go up by 10, but we can't make the shot fall. Ah, and they hit another three. I'm telling you, the three-pointers, are, are if, if they do that, it's going to kill us. So they threw it away, and we can't, we can't really do the, the three-pointers like they can. Turnover from them. Kickball on the defense. Ah. Throw it away. Another three-pointer. Four for six in three-pointers. How do you stop the three-pointers? I mean, is it intensity? Is that what it's going to be? Let me do that. I'll turn up the intensity just a little bit. And we're not getting anything to hit right now, and they've tied it up. So 11-point lead now, none. And Ben Martin's going to go to the free-throw line. He's the best free-throw shooter in the OVC. He hits them both. But he comes back on the other end and gets a foul. And they hit the three-pointers. Five for seven in three-pointers. And Lewis Rushing is going to be called for a charge. We get the ball back. A defensive foul on them. Uh, tied up 5-5 five, five in, in fouls right now for the half. Another foul, though. Shooting foul. Rushing goes to the line. Makes the first one. Misses the second one. Tie game 23-23, but they hit again. Uh, 
I'm going to put the intensity all the way up at this point. And Dearborn turns it over. Maybe we can afford to give a foul here, here and there, but uh, throw it away on the other end. And they hit the three. You can't stop their three-point shooting. I mean, they uh, just owned us the first game we played against them, and that was how they won. It's 28-25. I mean, they're six for nine in three-pointers. Six for ten out of bounds to us. And Dearborn called for the foul. That's their seventh team foul. Puts us on the line. Um, Martin, again, good free throw shooter. He hits them both. And they can't. Oh, Crower throws it away. We have the chance to go up again. They missed the three pointer. Another foul. So this is Cunningham at the line. He hits them both. So we're up by one. First lead we've had in a while. And a good move there to, to for Belmont. They take retake the lead. Miss inside, but we uh, I guess steal. They're up by three again, but a foul. That's going to be their ninth team foul. And Holland hits them both. A one point game. They missed the three. And we have a chance, and we do. So we're going to go into the half up, thirty three thirty two. Uh, this game has uh, been a, a barn burner. At, at least it's a lower scoring game than uh, I was expecting. I just don't know if that favors us over them. So you look at the half. Uh, Anderson, they're giving him the player of the game. He's had a pretty balanced game. Uh, what is that? Four point, six points. A couple steals, uh, three rebounds. Uh, Holland off the bench has looked good. So inside, we're looking pretty good. Um, but let's see. Rushing, Jepson. Grower, two for six in field goals. I think when we go back out there, 10 for 27 in shooting, I'm going to focus. I'm going to do a balance focus and might even move it to inside, actually. Uh, on their side, Weber's struggling a little bit inside. Um, who's on foul trouble? So Weber has a couple. I don't know what some of these guys are off the bench. Uh, but that free throw shooting, or three-point shooting, six for 12, that's going to kill us if, if that continues. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to leave the intensity up there uh, just for a while until, I guess, if we see some fouls. I'm going to improve the uh, offensive crashing the boards, and I'm going to go back to balanced to start the half and see how we, we started off. Yeah, when we get the ball back right away and hit a three-pointer, it's 36-32. Ball gets back to us again, and that's going to be Ben Martin, who, who throws down a slam dunk and gets the foul and makes the free throw. So we're up by seven. I just, I just don't want to see him hit the threes. I want to be in their face on this. It still doesn't matter. They hit a three-pointer. It's a four-point game, pass deflected out of bounds. We missed the three. We get the rebound. Oh, good play there. I think that was Anderson. Dearborn draws the foul, but he misses his shot. He's going to – well, he, he misses that second free throw. Out of bounds to Belmont. A five-point game. And then Dearborn again misses the shot, but draws the foul. Hits both free throws. It's a three-point game. Uh, they missed the three-pointer. We get the rebound. A good move inside, just a one-point game now. And we miss a three, and they get the rebound, but throw, threw it away. Oh, and a big three-pointer there from Grower. A four-point lead. Now, this is Belmont. You know, they, they're in Nashville, so this is home, home court for them. So, well, it's not home court, but, you know, their crowd's got to be home, home crowd. Ben Martin, a turnover. So we had a chance to go back up big there. Oh, they, they can't do anything. And we get a foul on the other side. Just their second team foul, though. We're up 3-2 to two in fouls for the half. Good play from Crower. He's having a good a good, half, well, good game. 
they can't make it. It's a six-point game, and, and we're struggling shooting right now, too. 15 for 37 in the game. Miss a three-pointer. And it's going to be rushing fourth foul. And that's going to be our fourth team foul. It's not a shooting foul. We get the ball back. Maybe that was a steal. Just throw it away on the other end. They do, too. And it looks like a layup there. They missed the three. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and miss inside. We get the rebound. It's a six-point game. And Kevin O'Brien, his third foul. Um... Who Phil goes, we're 390. We're doing really poor right now. And three for 13 and three-pointers. But seven for 17 for them. They've gone a little bit cold. And another foul. That's going to be their fourth team foul now. So we're even four at four. But we cannot get anything to fall. Still can't get anything to fall. 16 for 43 in shooting. Finally, uh... Looks like a uh, slam dunk, dunk from Anderson. Babcock misses but draws the foul. He makes the first one but misses the second one. Pass deflected out of bounds. A foul on Kevin O'Brien is fourth. That's five team fouls for them, five for us. 9.23 left. Oh, good. Jepson misses the shot but draws the foul. Unfortunately, I've said it time after time. He is a terrible free throw shooter. He does make one or two. We're doing really good in free throws, though, 14 for 17 for, for the game. So, again, that's how we beat him that last game. Everything came together for us. We're up by 10, biggest lead of the game. But Edwards called for the foul on the other end, and that's going to be our 16 foul. One more, and they're going to go to the line. Oh, but we get the ball back, and we're up by 12, biggest lead of the game, 744 to play. They missed a three-pointer. We miss it, too. And Richard Jepson called for the foul. That's going to send them to the line. They're probably not going to miss the free throws. He makes them both. It's an eight-point game. Oh, but right back at him. We score again. 12-point game. Pass deflected out of bounds. We have the ball. Missed the three-pointer. Good play from them inside. And another foul. Now we're going to the line. That's going to be on, uh, or Edwards is going to, Anderson's going to go to the line. He hits them both. Whew, i got to catch my breath here. 6.14 to play. We're up by 12. Oh, they hit the big three-pointer on their end. Nine-point game. But we come right back and get the ball back. 11-point game. We missed the three-pointer. 4.49 left. I'm going to slow it down here. Was that a foul? Yes, it was a foul on Michael Hall. So we're going to the line again. Grower, pretty good three free throw shooter. 16 points for him in the game now. We're up by 13, biggest lead of the game. Oh, and they score. I'm not changing anything right now. I'm keeping the defensive intensity where it is. We're going to play a balanced offensive set. Four minutes left. We missed the shot. They get the rebound. And convert. It's a nine-point game. We need to we need to stay in this game. Come on. All right, good play. 11-point game. And a nine-point game again. They're having to shoot. They're having to, to go inside. Good play there from Marshak. 11-point game again. They score. It's back and forth right now. Nine-point game. I'm going to go to a stall offense. Seven-point game. They're getting close. And it's a foul. Greg Laws, but who did he foul? Looks like rushing. So they're fouling the guy they need to at this point. No. Was that a foul on rushing? Oh, and they make the three-pointer. Five-point game. Maybe it wasn't a three-pointer. Grower misses a shot, draws the foul. He is probably outside of Martin, one of our better free-throw shooters, and he misses the first one, makes the second one. It's a six-point game. Intensity still turned up all I can, as high as I can, and we get the steal, but we can't convert. Oh, finally, Jepson makes the layup. Did he draw the foul? 
No timeout from Belmont. Under a minute to play. Wow. I'm going to motivate the team here, the entire team. I'm going to give them some praise. Hopefully that'll help. It, they're not listening. Bunch of kids. They don't care. All right, so I'm going to leave the intensity pretty high, but I'm going to come down a little bit and hope that that keeps us from fouling. Everything else, though, I'm going to stay the same. We're going with the balanced offense. He's wide open for the three, but can't convert. We get the rebound and a foul. Going to send, I think that's Martin to the line. He hits the first one, hits the second one. We're up by 10. Oh, and they turn it over. I think that's going to do it. They could foul here if they want. That's their last chance. A big three-pointer, though. And that ends it. Oh, my gosh. We just won the tournament, the OVC tournament, 72-65. to 65. Holy cow. Um, I just did not expect that. I, I got to be honest. And Milton Grower, good for him. Senior point guard leaving. One of his best games for sure. Um, a great game overall from everybody, really. This was just a good team win. Uh, again, Martin, they held him. Uh, I guess people are getting, or other teams are getting wise that he's the best player. He's the one you have to guard. But he drew a lot of fouls. Seven for seven from the free throw line. That was a big difference. Um, Anderson inside had 12 points. Just four rebounds, but five steals. That's not bad. Off the bench, Edwards, Holland, even Samuel, uh, five points. <clears throat> not too bad. Shooting, I think the, the key was that we kept their three-pointers from getting out of control. I mean, at one point, they were seven for ten, I, th I believe, in three-pointers. Or, or, uh, it was... It was good. I, I'll say that. I think they had made seven and were well above 50% in th three pointers at that point. So that was good. Uh, we held them under 50%. So I think going with that zone, maybe increasing the uh, defensive efficiency really helped us out. And then free throws, we converted when we had to. They sent us to the line 25 times. We hit 21. Uh, this is a great win. Um, Really good win. We, we outscored him in the paint, too, uh, which, you know, kind of the strategy that I had going in was, uh, you know, doing keeping them from hitting the three-pointers and then just being able to score inside. So that was a great win. Uh, so what is that going to do for us? I think it's going to put us in the, the Final Four tournament is what I'm thinking. So let's see if if this is going to come through. Let me see what happens here. Because I've never, you know, I haven't made the tournament. Um, we're 24-7 and seven overall. What a, what a year. My first year in this team, I just did not expect that. So it's Saturday, March 11th. This may be a little bit of a longer episode, too. I apologize, but uh, I wanted to get them both in there to see how far we could go. And so now, what are the alerts going to say? The brackets are set. So we go ahead, we click the Advance button. I think that's what it's saying. Okay, so there is a – there's supposed to be an advance button here. What am I missing? Okay, did I do something wrong here? Let me see. All right, so let's see what's going on here. The selection show. So let's see what this is about. The selection show.
Okay. Okay, I guess we could either watch the show or skip it. I think I'm going to skip it, even though I appreciate the uh, the work put into uh, to it. I think I'm going to skip it and see what kind of... Oh, we're going to be playing Tennessee. you got to be kidding me. So I wonder if I could see the brackets. Um, is that going to be in the standings? Polls media, maybe. It's not on the dashboard, I don't think. Tournaments. Um, Final Four. Okay, so. Oh my gosh. can't believe I'm not going to see the brackets. Okay. I know who I'm going to play. Hmm. Okay, I've got to I've got to figure this out. Um, so it, it, we're playing Tennessee, who has a huge um, advantage over us. But why am I not seeing? The brackets. I didn't realize that that would not let you see the brackets, or I probably would not have uh, skipped through that. I mean, is it in the polls and the media? I'm just, I'm being stupid here. No, I think I missed it. Uh, looks like if you don't choose the uh, To watch the the bracket show, you don't see a bracket. That doesn't make sense. Let me let me see if I play ahead to to the game. No, that doesn't make sense. Games grid. Maybe this is it. There we go. There we go. Sorry, sorry, it took so long. Okay, so we're gonna have a play in. So this looks like. The Buffalo region, is that where it is? So you got Florida, number one seed, Tennessee. We're 12 seed, not bad. We're going to be playing Tennessee, uh, Baylor, New Mexico State, Michigan, Kent State, Connecticut, two seed in this, uh, this region, Indiana, Davidson, Villanova, Towson, Kansas City region, Louisville, number one. Uh, we got... Temple, there's a play-in game there. Gonzaga finished four seed. Kansas two, Alabama in there seven seed. Uh, Michigan State third seed. San Antonio region looks like it's Iowa is the top seed. Um, Illinois, Kansas State in there. Pittsburgh, F San Diego State, Kentucky two seed. Arkansas three seed. I told you I don't I don't really know that I agree with that one. I think Arkansas had a better season, but. Um, it may depend on who won their tournament, too. And then the Spokane region, you got North Carolina 1, Wisconsin 2, Maryland, Seton Hall, Oklahoma State pretty high in this region. Uh, so if if I'm looking at the schedule of games, have we had any yet? I don't think we've had any. All right, and it probably doesn't show me from here. But that's where we are. So I, I cannot believe that we are 
in this tournament. Un- unbelievable. Uh, but uh, I know we got uh, had a long episode here. Sorry it took me so long to find the uh, the bracket here. But I hope you've enjoyed the series so far. I, I know I've got a lot of good comments from you guys. I appreciate it. Um, thanks for staying with it. I'm going to keep playing. I- I'm really enjoying this game quite a bit. So I, I guess it helps if you win and have <laughs> have a kind of Cinderella season that we're having. But I will see you next episode where we play our first game in the tournament. Thanks a lot for watching.